anything. We can have uh, even a breathalyzer, so you can't. You can do. Yeah, you can start the tractor. Well, you can't start the tractor unless you blow under the limit. So. Bloody hell. Yep. Gentlemen, welcome along. We are here in Doncaster today for Valtra's latest uh, product launch, this time focusing on its uh, fifth generation yep. of tractors. So to basically introduce the, uh, the uh, press event, the launch event that we're here today, I've got Mr. Miller from Valtra, <laughs> who's gonna basically he's gonna explain the day, what it's all about. So, uh, well, firstly, it's great to be out again, isn't it? it is. it's, it's great to be out here, to be able to sort of uh, come out and physically get in the tractors, have a go with it, talk rubbish as we normally do That's about it, yeah. various, various things. But um, quite importantly, we, we started off a year ago with the fifth generation. We did the vir first one of the first virtual launches we did with the G-Series. And now, as we've come into 21, it's our 70th anniversary. So this quite fitting as well. And behind us, we've got the four new model ranges That's from it, the yeah. fifth generation so a g n and t we've basically changed the whole range in the last year to the new fifth generation and this is the first time we've had the opportunity for you guys to be able to come out here have a little drive on it talk about see some of the new features on feedback from the customers what we've changed from the fourth to the fifth generation way through from a, a little 115 horsepower basic tractor right the way through to a a 230, 250 horsepower CVT. <laughs> so, sounds good. You've certainly whet my appetite. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I think we'll crack on, do a bit of cab hopping and uh, see what's what. Brilliant. Boys and girls, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, cab hopping on these uh, various Valtras and specs. Uh, so we're going to focus mainly on the N's and T series, which is pretty much your bread and butter tractors, yep. your thoroughbreds out of Finland. So we're going to basically we're going to hop from tractor to tractor. We're going to have a look at uh, three N series machines. We're going to use them as examples, and we're going to basically have a look at the uh, the various spec levels. Uh, we're going to learn a bit more about the uh, you know the range as a whole, what's been updated, and what's changed. And before we kick off, got this man here, Mr. Seth Bradford. Um, I mean, tell the boys and girls, what's your role, Seth? Uh, senior sales support specialist for the UK and Ireland for right. Vulture, Vulture tractors. So. so you know the stuff. Anything product related. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, before we kick off, I mean, just give us a, an overview of the N series and the T series. What models are in there? Spec level, things like that? Yep, so the N's and T's uh, have now come up to the fifth generation. Um, so with that, we've still got the same models as such. So in the N series range, we've got the M135, M155, and the range topping M175, which will boost up to 200 horsepower. And then in the T's, we go from uh, 140 horsepower all the way up to 270. Right. In the biggest 255 versus. So with this fifth generation, pretty much the horsepower ratings, they've stayed where they are pretty much. Yeah, the horsepowers and the boost values have stayed the same yeah. Yeah, through the ranges. And then the number of models, is it just the N that's just lost, lost, yep. lost so one or two models we've now? We've dropped off the smallest uh, M104, M114 and M124, because now we have the G-Series G range. Right. That's sort of taken up that slack that the, the smaller N um, was filling. So. Got you. Which is nice, now we have that model overlap at 130 horsepower, we have three tractors that you can pick from. Yeah. So in terms of this tractor, which spec is this one? So this is an active spec. So we have four main uh, specification ranges for each horsepower, if you like. So we've got high-tech, active, versa, and direct. The high-tech being the entry level, 
Um, that has a shared oil platform with the hydraulics and transmission sharing the same oil. When we go up to an active, we then get split hydraulics and transmission um, and a load sensing hydraulic pump. And also we still have the uh, rear mechanical valves. Yeah. But then when we want to step up from that, we can go to the electro hydraulic rear valves with the load sensing pump and that's called a Versu. And then the one above that is a direct. So then that's then our hybrid CVT option yeah. with the uh, rear electro hydraulic spools. Got yeah. So it's nice and simple really between the, there's two mechanical spool versions and two electric hydraulic. Simple as that. And those two top specs there would come with smart touch. Yeah, which what we, we'll have a look at it. What we call the smart touch yeah. armrest. The benefit of these um, mechanical spool models is we can still have the technology that the smart touch models have all through our nice uh, smart touch standalone screen up here on the right hand side right. so, so that's like an extension to smart touch if you had smart touch yep. terminal you could have that as an extension yep. so you could have two screens if you already have a smart touch tractor or like i say in a, in a tractor like this where um we've got mechanical valves we can still do guidance ice the bus cameras section control variable rate all through that screen yeah while still keeping this nice simple armrest and those four spec levels uh, obviously, we're we're trying out the ends just to see the difference between, but yep. that all applies to the T's as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, same cab platform between the two. Yeah. So, ultimately, really, what's what's changed from fourth uh, generation to fifth generation? So, aesthetically, uh, from the outside, we've got daytime running lights. We've also got the option of the two new metallic colours: metallic bronze and metallic olive green. Um, then from a transmission point of view, uh, we have improved the range change speed. Uh, so changing between B to C, C to D, etc. Yeah. It's much, much quicker on these fifth generations than it was on the fourth. So how's that actually been achieved We've then? Got a different synchro unit in the, in the transmission. So Right. Yeah, which allows us to speed that up. And then in terms of the cab, um, as you'll see in the corner of the cab there, we've got our new smart display. That's it. Um, so on the A pillar there, whereas previously have, we had what was called the ProLine display, a small um, LCD display. Um, we could do quite a lot with that on the fourth generation, but arguably um, people didn't use it because they had to know what the index is meant to then change settings. Whereas That's with, it, yeah. with this new smart display, with it being colors and symbols, ever so easy to uh, actually operate. And in terms of the features, um, I'm sure we'll go through, but can do things like uh, engine braking uh, at ASR which is the automatic slip regulator which is like a traction control system we can have now have that as long as we've got radar on the tractor on a high tech or an active uh, whereas previously that was limited to versa and direct only but controlling the front valves uh, displaying the PTO speeds engine speeds things like that it's very very simple and, and easy to well, use. Well I see you can just see a lot more of what's going on and then yep. in terms of the setup you can just make more of what you've got exactly. a lot easier yeah. as well things like turning your what we call them um, auto traction so your brake to neutral clutchless braking do yeah. that all through the screen it's all just on this simple turn dial here on the right hand side of the steering column right so you literally just scroll through that and yeah see all the very hang on some look shall we yeah so the so. top one is always your settings so if you just press okay that'll get okay. that i so you've got your three settings, three sections, should I say. The top one's always your settings, and then the two bottom ones are similar to the smart touch display where you can have different um, displays in there. Oh, so like right. information, so if you click OK on one of those, yeah. you then get a list of options to, to change to see, so you can have them up all the time. Yeah. Oh, there we go, so we can see uh, yeah. real linkage position there. And That's it. Now you've got simple OK or a return arrow, arrow on, the, um, on the scroller there. So if we have that on, there yeah just press ok and we go down that one we have that one there like that and then if you go up to your settings at the top this is where you can go in change your engine uh, auto transmission uh pto settings so speed of engagement for pto automatic pto settings hydraulic we can put timers on our front valves um having several different counters going um do all sorts really some of the main changes as well with the steering column we had the same shuttle from 1998 in the previous N and N4 and T4s. You got your money's with that Yeah, one. so, <laughs> you know, it worked well, but uh, one of the complaints was when you go up to the smart touch models, you're able to shuttle between forward and reverse on your smart touch drive lever, and you used to have to put the old shuttle in neutral every time, whereas with this new one, it's always returned to center, so you can pick and choose on the fly which, which shuttle you want to use. Yeah. 
a new type of steering wheel, slightly chunkier. Um, we've also done away with the, the, the dash uh, behind the steering wheel, so you're not looking through the steering wheel. I was going to say, so that's, that's, kind of, that's gone, and this yeah. is pretty much taken over yeah. from the dash and that little corner display as well. That's right, yeah. So it's, it's much better because you're not looking looking down to see your speed or your engine revs. You can just glance up. It's that eye line already, but it's not in, impairing your vision through to that right. No, side. that's it. Even though it's you know it's a nice big chunky mm. sort of pillar dash, you know you still it's no wider than the pillar from no. the perspective of the seat. So in terms of any other physical changes in here, are there anything else that's changed? Or is... uh, on the steering column there on this, we've split. So we used to just have one stalk that did our indicators, lights, everything. Whereas now we've made it a bit more car-like. So you've got one dedicated to your to your wipers yeah. and then. Uh, uh, your lights proper over chunky stalks as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in terms of customization, presumably the list with you lot, yeah, yeah. you can go to town on it. Yeah. <laughs> so the Valtra red, so the flat red is your standard colour. Obviously, then you've got eight metallic factory colours to pick from. And then if you can find a colour you want, you bring us the RAL code. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll paint it or wrap it or yeah. whatever. But 20% of the tractors coming off the, the production line in Finland now have what we call unlimited options on it. So we've got an unlimited studio yeah. uh, and the tractors will go through there and they'll have anything from like uh, black leather seats to extra lights, um, colour changing wraps, uh, black wheels, anything. We can have uh, even a breathalyzer so you can't... You can actually, do. Yeah, you can start the tractor. Well, you can't start the tractor unless you blow under the limit. So. Bloody hell. Yep different tyre options. Is that a big issue in Finland or something? Uh, no, it's because of the municipal sort of uh, applications that we can sell into. So we sell into certain armed forces, airports, all that sort of thing. Yeah, you don't uh, want them drunk, do you? No, they don't. <laughs> you don't. Coming back to the spec though, like this is the standard interior and the, the other tractor we're going to sit in, the Versu, we've got the new premium interior. Um, so that was previously available through Unlimited. Um, but now, because it's been so popular, we've mm. actually brought it on as a factory option. So it's a bit like the black wheels, they're being fitted at, at the factory rather than going into the Unlimited studio to be done because they're becoming so common yeah. to do, so, which is good, you know. Well, with that, I think we'll, we'll move up a, a spec yep. level, shall we? We'll go and find uh, the next one, which will be... The Versus. Versus.